Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming tonight, um, an election night, um, uh, to the Abington Conservation Commission. And we have a few items tonight, but it should be a short meeting. Um, and the first thing I'd like to um, um, bring up is the uh, Certificate of Compliance from Musterfields. That is, um, I don't have the actual DP number, but it's um, lot three. Musterfield, it's... it's it's, it's our, our four lots. But it's our oh, it's number. Not it's not a D number. It's an ACC. Oh, yes. uh, there you are. AC, uh, us, Abington Conservation Commission number seven. Yeah. Mr. Chairman. Okay. Yes, sorry. Like to be excused. Surely, Mr. Calder. Thank you. And we still have the quorum, so we're all set. Hi, Mr. Calder. Thank you. Good evening. <coughs> and I note that we received a letter from you um, September 9th on this, talking about how yes. it complies. Thank you. Just a copy of the application and uh, <coughs> all that. If, if I may, I'd like to uh, just um, Read it. Read it. Uh, my, well, my name is John Carter. I am here representing uh, Musterfields Investments LLC um, on their project that they have up on uh, the corner of East Street and what is now Colin and Tony Way. Uh, um, uh, they're finishing up the project. Uh, they been issued. I believe they were issued at one point a uh, partial. Certificate of compliance so that they could go forward. They had lots one and two um, constructed, and they were going. Now they've had, and, and the roadway is all done. Now they've got lots uh, three and four. Uh, lot three is is completely done. Uh, lot four is uh, currently under construction. Um, the grading is done. Uh, the building is located um, as it was as it was required through the. Um, the zoning board and the conservation. Uh, we've done an as-built plan on the um, location of the foundation, which which is now. I mean, they've already got the framing on, uh, and uh, it, it's 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 pretty well along. The house itself <coughs> is pretty well along, and, and as right right now they're constructing the driveway. Um, but I'd like to just just read in, read into the uh, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, the letter that we had um, that we had, had sent, and at the request of the Mustfield LLC. Uh, an as-built topographic location survey was performed on lots three and four on Colin Tony Way and East Street for the purpose of obtaining a certificate of compliance on the property. Uh, from field locations and observations, lot three does conform and comply rather to the approved plan. Lot four, although currently under construction and the majority of the lot in activity uh, is outside the 100 foot buffer zone, does substantially comply in that the building foundation is in the correct location and the grading of the lot agrees with the plan. Uh, uh, however, at this time, a, a driveway is under construction and the lot has not been loaned and seeded. So at this time, we are requesting a certificate on both lots. Uh, if you have any questions on the property, I'll be happy to answer uh, uh, them for you. Never, never really came before. It didn't have anything to do with us, really. Well, it, the whole there. thing, the whole thing actually came in front of you. Right, um, I remember that. And um, and but lot four actually does. Lot, lot four is actually the majority. of Lot four is outside the right. uh, buffer but zone. But a portion of it is still in the hundred foot buffer zone. Right. So everything. So all everything. Everything right. came in front so of the So where board. where did we put the hay bales here? Uh, the hay bales actually are, are over are over in this this location right. over right. here. Yeah. Yeah. I just didn't show okay. them. Okay, I have never had a certificate of compliance approved before the work's done. I know we're talking about an Abington Conservation Commission bylaw rather than a, con but I've right. never a actually approved something that isn't done. Yeah, I understand the Tobo well, is set. Sure, I sure. I understand what you're saying. Uh -huh. So I'm I'm having a little. Sh I don't have any problem with Lot Three, mm -hmm. and I, I would be. Happy as long as have you guys gone to look at it? I have oh, yeah. not. Yeah, it's, it's, I had to look at it too. Okay. Basically, it can be long and seated to, before they put the driveway in. I mean, it's well, the driveway's not on. Where is the driveway on the they, plan? They were, they're constructing it right now. It's coming down. It's coming so over it's here. So it's not. That's not on the plan as well. So 
I guess I'm having a little trouble with lot four mostly just because it's not done. Um, I, I think I would be comfortable with lot three, but just not lot four. I don't know what you guys think, but that's well, sort I, of my I, opinion. I've actually been by there. And it's it's ninety percent done. I mean, it's, it's but a certificate of compliance indicates that it's all done. Well, this actually, um, as Newton mentioned, that actually lot four never came before us. Of course, that's right. Um, originally, it was lot one and lot two. That's um, correct. And there was a very extensive work done here because right behind there is a reservoir or a cat. Oh, yeah, a reservoir, yep. an actual pond. Well, it's a pond. One of, one of the two or three ponds in Abington, actually, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. And then here is the. Um, Air base, That's correct. Right? Um, and so they actually had to do extensive work here where they put a drain in. That's right. right. Um, and actually, uh, this was that, that those orders went out in the old Conservation Commission. But when we all came, you know, the new members, although I was on the old commission, um, we actually brought you back and we uh, brought back and we went through it again. Um, to that's, actually that's correct. That's actually, right. the first time the first time we went through um, was for a. Uh, um, determination of applicability and we got and, and we were allowed to go forward because it was not within the 100 foot buffer zone it actually wasn't within uh, the pond was like along the backs of the lots mm -hmm. and we were allowed to go forward under a uh, uh, under uh, under that and then um, we were asked to come back under the Abington bylaws because there is this small depression back in here um, that wasn't big enough it wasn't large enough to be considered a wetland uh, but it was uh, a, 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 an isolated depression. So under the Abington bylaws, uh, That's I mean, literally under the Abington <laughs> bylaws, if you, if you read it by definition, um, if you have a puddle, you have to come in front of the board. Well, I mean, I, I was actually concerned because um, there is there is quite a big pond behind oh, yeah. you, a reservoir, Absolutely. and arguably the Army Corps of Engineers might have been involved in the original plan that went before the Conservation Commission, I thought. I mean, this is before our commission mm -hmm. actually handled it. So I thought there were some serious issues, but all those were handled anyway with the drain. And the reason that lot four never came before us is because really it wasn't it's outside the buffer. That's right. But Not didn't really that gas line go through here too? Didn't a we gas line is in the street. <coughs> it's oh. there. It's, it's in it's in here. It's in there. But yeah. didn't we have a filing for he that? He had too? to go. Yeah, they they did that under uh, them. They did that separately it was from us. Was it a request or was it a notice? I don't know because um, it was we, um, we, um, a notice, and it was by the utility company. Right. Um, and in fact, the utility company were the ones who kind of alerted the new commission to a few of the issues so they had their own um, engineers correct but, but um but so but does that notice have a need to have a certificate of compliance for for your deed stuff you know if somebody's going to sell these properties there's not, but there's no notice of intent on lot four correct well the road has a notice of intent so well, I'm well the road has a certificate of compliance We've gotten we've gotten yeah. a certificate of the, compliance the, already the, the, for the utility. For I that. don't know about the utility, but everything that we did, everything that we did through the town, mm -hmm. uh, because the road Colin Tony Way is now an approved, is a, is an approved right uh, an approved right. way. Mm -hmm. uh, so we we did all of we did all our due diligence as far as as far as the um, I, what the utility company d did. I don't know. We weren't. Maybe it was an RDA actually. Kathy, That's what but, I'm thinking. It might be an RDA. Yeah. No, I just worry. I just was bringing it up because when you do those real estate transactions, it might show up. Mm -hmm. well, that's all. That's that's the poor buyers and sellers looking. Right. Right. Well, but it's right. just something. Well, that's why we're doing. That's why we're getting this part of the, so uh, the process finished. My out. point in that would be in reviewing the history. Of that is, that I'm not too sure really if we have to. They're asking for a certificate of compliance of lot four. But right. but really, I, I can't see anything stopping us from giving a, a certificate of compliance tonight because I think they have done everything that we would have requested, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So I mean, also they haven't they haven't done the loam, the seed, and they haven't done. How are you doing the driveway? What's 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 going to be? It's used not to even driveway? on the plan. It's going to be a, it's going to be a paved driveway. Paved driveway. So um, I mean, Kathy brings up that you know everything has to be on the plan. I don't see why we should hold them up. You know it's going to be done. Um, he's, he's done the other three houses fine. We're not holding them and up for construction. It's just that all that we're holding up is him getting a certificate of compliance. Well, we may. Correct. Oh, is there right. is there a sale pending on this property? Not on lot four. No, there is on lot three, but not on lot four. Well, then we could, we could approve lot three then. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. I would. Yeah. If, I mean, if we only like get the one, close, that's fine. And, uh, you're and then we we'll come back to, to lot, lot four. four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I make a motion we approve lot three of the certificate of compliance. Is there a second? Sure. 
Um, you know, I, I forgot to ask, does anybody have any comment outside oh. on the floor? <coughs> no. no. Right, so we bring back in. Okay, <coughs> so there's a motion. Um, there's a second. All those in favour? Aye. Aye. All right, so <coughs> we're doing a certificate of compliance on lot three. three. Um, right. and Under the Abington Conservation Commission bylaws. Okay. Correct. And then how do you want to how do you want to leave number four? You um, leave I think they'll to? they'll come back to us we'll, as soon yeah, as we'll the come back. we'll come back for lot uh, we'll come back for lot four if that's if just that. let Nancy know when. Yep. Okay. 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 Thank you very much, Mr. Carl. Stay there. Yeah. Don't okay. move. I won't move. Don't move. I'm going to get this to you. Um, I have this one. So, um, uh, I'd like to now um, take a. Well, are we open this hearing? We'll take a hearing, a motion to open the hearing for a request for certificate of compliance of Brian and Gail Cronin's house. That DP number 84-389, that's a 597 connection. All those in favor of the hearing opening? Aye. 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 I make the motion, whatever yes, you want us right. to do. Yeah. Okay. And actually, what? Brian and Gail are here, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, excellent. yeah. Okay. Jerry, um, we're going to get Jerry. <coughs> oh, excellent. Because he can participate in this one. Mm -hmm. Brian and Gail, do you want to come up? You're so quiet. You come up? No, you're all set. You're back. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're looking at, I am sharing this, because normally I pan the thing to show all these people. I mean, it must be two, three hundred people here. <laughs> so, Mr. Connor, and you sent us um, a letter saying that it, um, it complies largely with what um, the orders were, and you've given us an as-built map. Yes. Okay, and the only thing in the letter is you notice the parking area. Correct. So why don't you tell us about that? Okay, the par um, okay. Uh, here's the, uh, again. That, that one. I actually I have a couple of the, the letter the letter regarding the this site I'll, I'll read into the in, into the minutes uh, dear board members at the request of Brian and Gail Cronin of 597 Brocken Avenue an as-built topographing and location survey and plan were prepared to obtain a certificate of compliance on the property from the field locations performed and observations at the time the following conclusions were made the building and elevations are in general conformance with the approved plan following our exceptions to the plan. The parking area in front of the building was expanded to create more spaces, although it is outside the 100 foot buffer zone. I just wanted to make you aware of it. Uh, a play area, shed, and fence were also placed on the property. Um, um, the shed uh, shall be moved by the property owner. Uh, it is our opinion the property is in substantial conformance with the approved plan. Uh, although the parking area is different than the plan, it does lie outside the 100 foot buffer zone. Uh, we look forward to working with you on the certificate in hopes of finalizing the project. Um, also, uh, Brian uh, had spoken with uh, his neighbor um, the, uh, of Shiny Face Realty Trust, his uh, Bob Brainerd, uh, because there was an issue, as you can see, there is the shed and uh, a portion of Brian's fences over the line, and uh, Bob, uh, Bob is well aware of it, and. Uh, uh, he says, I bought Brandon, know that Brian and Gail, who live at 597 Brockton Avenue, um, um, it says uh, uh, two back sections of their fence is on my property, and he has no issue or concerns at this time. Uh, so he's aware of it, um, and, um, and, and, and he and Brian have, a, have a, uh, an agreement that if, they, if, if necessary, Brian will build the fence. Um. Was the shed on the original plants? No, no, the, no. What happened with this property uh, is is that Brian, Brian and Gail bought the land. Um, they did their, they did everything that they were supposed to do. They built the house. They graded the property. Everything was done proper. Um, he went to, to um, the building inspector and asked if there was anything else he had to do to take care to to make to do everything the right way. And he said he's got his he's got his occupancy permit uh, and he's all set. 
So Brian said, great, I'm all set, I'm good to go, and they went and lived in the house. Now Brian and Gail are looking to move, um, and it was brought to their attention that uh, certificate of compliance was not um, was not issued. Well, um, so he uh, um, he's just been living in the house, and and they they put the shed in there. Um, it's a movable structure, um, um, but that was you know that was uh, that was that was how it came to pass. How big are we talking about? That's a ten, ten by twelve. And that's on the neighbor's property as well. And he yeah, and he's and Brian's going to he's going to move that. He's going to move that so that it's on his own land, on, on his own land. Are there any questions, comments? Okay. I, I, I know the house and they run a little business out of it, address and so forth. Been there for quite a while. Uh -huh. so. Excellent. Okay. Although, um, is there any comments? Do you guys have any comment about your house? No? No. Okay. Any other comments? Well, I'm going to take it back from the public. Um, I'm going to ask, is there a motion to approve the Certificate of Compliance? No, I just had one question. This yeah. is the way they have the shed here. You know, it just make, makes me wonder why they just put it like over here uh, on his own property. He, 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 found it, he found it was his own oh, property. I see. I see. Yeah, they put the fence in and didn't realize they had gone over the line, I think. Right. So. Yeah. Do we have a motion to approve? Motion to approve. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, Nancy, do you need a copy of that statement that John just read? Yes, yeah, she has a copy. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, the other the letter from Mr. Brainerd. Oh, okay. We can further copy that if you need it. That's Thanks. Good, uh, if you need it. That's fine. I can get that from Nancy any time. <laughs> All right. Can I have um, a motion to um, continue open continue hearing? Yes. There's an open hearing for 899 Washington Street. I make a motion. Thank you. Second. All right. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And this is um, a notice of intent, and we continued it construct a single family dwelling in gra garage with sighted purchases within the 10 foot buffer zone of a bordered vegetative wetland. Um, do we have a DP number for this? Yeah. We do. Okay. Is that why it was continued? No. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. That, well, that and, and the members, oh, they wanted to, they wanted they to walk, they wanted home. to walk the yeah. site. We missed you. I know. <laughs> I was looking for you. I went by the office. I figured I saw the vehicle. There's no other coming. So this is um, DP number 84-485. Okay. Okay. And, uh, you already have, but it's the same for you. Uh, as, as, as you had stated, we had been here pr at the previous, uh, the previous meeting uh, regarding a uh, single-family house uh, on, our, on our lot here, lot that was shown as lot number one on Washington Street. Um, the design is the same as it was uh, when, we, when we last met, uh, creating swales on both sides of the property uh, so that uh, we won't um, we won't we won't be uh, we won't be infringing on any of the neighbors with any any overland flow. Um, the wetlands line, um, as shown, uh, there is on the uh, in the botanist report. Um, there was a question as possible. That there might be a, a, pool, a vernal pool out there. Mm -hmm. She certified that there are no there are no certified vernal pools out there. Um, back in here, there is some um, wet area with some cat and eye tails, but um, it wasn't determined to be a vernal. It was it was just determined to be wetlands. So there's some pockets out there that, that, that collect some water, but not uh, not anything that would be considered a um, a pool. Uh, and uh, so everything uh, we've we've gone through this this project uh, at the last meeting, and uh, um, we do have a file number now. So uh, if you have any other questions, I'd be happy to answer them. You guys questions. walked the line. Did you? Were you okay with where the wetlands were? Oh yeah, yeah, plenty. There's plenty of room. It seems where that wet pocket is is really far back. Yeah. No, so no, it's no. so far from the activity. It's not yeah. on top of the house by any right, means. Yeah, plenty of room to run a machine and so forth. 
in the that's a joke. Did you um, figure out how much? Did you tell us how much fill you were bringing in? I didn't. Do you know now? No. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's over. It's it's definitely over uh, 100, over a hundred. Yeah, uh, over the limit. So they're going to have to go to the selectman uh, to the selectman for permit. Do you, do you determine the, the amount and then go to the selectman, or you just say you're going over 100 yards? Uh, well, just by looking at it, I know I'm going over 100 yards. Oh, well, yards. I understand that, yeah. But, but and, and they will have to go to the selectman for a, for a permit. But just say it's going over 100 yards? Uh -huh. Okay. I didn't know how it was written. Yeah. Well, no, no normally I, I should have, I should because Kathy had brought the question up before, and I should have, I should have taken a look at it and, got the, and done, a, done an estimate. Yeah, you're right that. I would assume he's got to tell the selectman how much. You're right. Oh, yeah, we will have to. Because they'll want to know. Are there any um, questions from the floor? From the public? Yeah. So we'll bring them back to the commissioners. Do I have a motion to. Um, now, here we're going to have to do orders, right? Um, but do I have a motion to approve the notice of intent? Motion to approve no notice of intent, 899 Washington Street. Second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, do we want to wait to do the conditions at the end since we have so much on the agenda, Dennis? Okay. Yep. Sure. Thank okay. You. That would make, make, make yeah, sense. That's fine. Okay yeah. with you guys? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Can I make a motion to close the hearing? Okay. Um, second. second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very much. But we will do the orders tonight. That's yeah. great. Okay. Thank you very, very much. Okay. The next one we have is um, a motion to continue the hearing of Zero Adam Street, Brendan Realty Trust, for the construction of an office building including site work within the buffer zone at uh, Zero Adam Street, Math 69, Lot 1, Mr. Trackamas. Thank you very much for coming tonight. Thank you. Oops, excuse me. Have a good night. 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 Do I have a motion to open this hearing? I Mr. do. Mr. Nelson, we open the hearing? Second. How you doing? Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. When we were Al Trachemus, SciTech Environmental, when we were last before the commission, there were, I counted, four questions raised to be addressed, which we have responded to in our eight, August 15th correspondence. One of the questions was regarding the Route 18 drainage improvements uh, and whether since that drains toward our site, whether that would affect the proposed office drainage design. I contacted DE, uh, DEP, I contacted Mass Highway, and they emailed me back with plans and uh, summaries that the work that they're proposing to do is going to be mitigated such that the proposed rate of runoff uh, peak flow rate will be less than what currently exists coming off of that portion of the drainage improvements that they're doing for Route, route 18. That also does not, um, so that, that wouldn't affect our property at all as far as that goes. The water would continue to pass through there, but it doesn't pass through any part of our internal drainage system. It passes through the surrounding wetlands area. So that will not have an effect. Um, could I stop you for just a second? Sure. Has the plan, plan changed since you've gone to planning? No. no. And have you finished with planning? No, we have not. Okay. No. The other question was, will a permit for soil removal need to be obtained from the Board of Selectmen? Um, the Chapter 134 soil removal of the town bylaws requires that a permit for soil removal be obtained. From the Board of Selectmen, the bylaw specifically exempts soil removal incidental to and reasonably required in connection with the construction of a legal or approved use of structure, uh, use or structure. In our opinion, uh, the proposed, the construction of the proposed office building would exempt the soil removal permit requirements since we're going to the Planning Board and the Conservation Commission for the construction of a legal structure on an approved use. Um, also, overall, it's kind of a moot point because one of the questions we were asked was how much soil re will be removed from the site. Uh, no soil is going to end up getting removed from the site. We did the cut and fill analysis and 
we have 150 cubic yards of total cut and 15 we need a net fill of 15,000 cubic yards so we're going to be importing material into the site so even if that was a question we are going to be bringing material onto the property to fill it uh, the fourth question was is the stream that is the south of the property perennial uh, we contacted USGS because on the latest USGS maps all their streams are the same color. It was, the, was it a dark blue stream or a light blue stream? So we contacted USGS and there's a copy of the email that we received back from them um, in our correspondence. And one of the uh, items that they told us that is that the stream stats is the more current and up-to-date information for the stream, please bear in mind that USGS topographical maps are not meant to be used as any type of legal documents, particularly, particularly in regard to streams and drainage. Um, so what we did was uh, Massachusetts recognizes the uh, USGS stream stats. We ran the stream stats calculation for that section of the stream and there are two criteria it has to meet. One of them is whether it's based on the DEP criteria in their regulations. The stream has to have a watershed of at least one half square mile and a predicted flow rate greater or equal to 1.01 cubic feet per second at the 99th flow duration using the USGS stream stats method. The stream stats is attached. The drainage area is only 0.15 square miles, much less than half a square mile. And also at the 99th percentile, the predicted flow rate is 0 0.002 CFS, which is well under 0 0.01 CFS. So it does not qualify as a perennial uh, stream. How did you pick? that section of the stream um, for this. Is this just what's on the property? This is hard to read, right. sorry. Right. Um, because because I, don't, um, I don't quite understand how you base the calculation. The question is, does the stream that flows through the property, and where is it, it's on, yes, here it is. It begins right about this point here and begins flowing through the property. On the stream stats, what we did was we picked <coughs> as it crosses Adams Street. So the question is, what happens after Adam Street doesn't concern us, but whether it's a stream or a river or whatever. But the where case does is. the so where did you you pick the stream location as where to start the stream? Or the watershed determination is calculated by stream stats. Yes. So you're telling me that the initiation of the stream is right there, although it used to connect, it doesn't anymore. You can argue what I know. I, I, I just don't. I'm trying to understand. Want, 15 years ago, it connected. Stream stats, whether this becomes a stream on the other side of Adams. I'm street. not worried about okay, so down there. I'm talking about up top. Uh, you know, if I go up top further, there'll be nothing. If I the further so up, so what you've inputted in stream stats is the top of the river that you show on the drawing to no. where the where it crosses under the road. No, what I inputted into stream stats was the lowest point on the site, which is. The stream flows to and across Adams Street. Mm -hmm. So I picked where the stream crosses Adams Street. Okay. And where the stream crosses Adams Street, then it calculates the watershed and the flow rate from that. And based on where the stream crosses Adams Street, it has only 0.15 square miles of drainage area and a flow rate of 0 0.002 CFS. So you've picked the low point. Right. Put that into the model. And does the model already, have you just picked the particular property that we're talking about? Yes. So you, the watershed, although may be, to watersheds extend beyond property boundaries, you've only put in the property boundaries, correct? I, I put in the watershed according to stream stats as it leaves the property. Okay. And you can see the uh, cranberry area. Yeah, that, I, I had trouble reading most of this because I didn't have a very good copy, but that's okay. not... That's but we don't calculate it. All we can do is pick the point, and then the USGS does the calculation. So we can't manipulate those numbers. All we can do is pick the point. But you also picked the property bound. You gave the property itself, correct? No. 
No. No, no, no. It's, you just pick the stream stat location and that's it? That's it. Because the because you're correct, watersheds extend beyond the property boundaries uh, almost all the time. So what they do is we give it a location on the stream, we pick the location on the stream, and then they compute the entire watershed. It's it doesn't take into account any property lines whatsoever. It's just how they calculate the watershed itself. Okay. What is the significance, if anything, between an in intermittent stream and an actual stream for this property? Riverfront river protection will apply the, the but, 100 oh, foot I, I understand foot. that, but what's the significance for this? Because you actually have taken all the um, requirements that we've asked you, haven't you? No, but it's, it, they don't yeah. have all the riverfront protection requirements. There are additional, them. there's a 100 foot riverfront inner riparian zone and a 200 foot right. uh, outer riparian zone where additional measures would have to be applied right. and there may be some non-development, especially within the first 100 feet. So that's the that's significance the of there's it. There's more restrictive There's restrictions between the 100 the 0 to 100 and 100 to 200. So in other words, would you have been able to build that parking lot there if it was a riparian Not zone? Not that size, probably. Right, it would be, we're at 1 inch equals 40 feet, so we're looking at about 100 feet uh, right about here. So the 100 foot line wouldn't be an issue, but the 200 foot line would come right through this area. And there's still yeah. some restrictions associated with that. That's what okay. I've been asking. Um, I would like to check into the stream stats thing myself um, if I have some, because I don't think he's gotten planning board approval yet either okay. for, the, for the drainage. Um, so I can do that in the meantime. But I just wanted to understand it a little more mm -hmm. because what's been presented to us before hasn't used stream stats. They've tried different methods. So. This is right out of the DEP regulations I know. and the USGS. I know, and the wetlands regs have a different, uh, they well, have an alternate approach have as we well. Been, we've been on that, right? I mean, do mm -hmm. we have a problem with whether it's an intermittent stream or no. a, And I don't, I've been on the um, uh I've been the on property. the property, the property's fine. Yeah. And, and they keep it clean. I mean, it's, I don't see a problem with it at all. Do you? No. So we've constantly continued this. Um, because we've been waiting for planning. Because the problem is, if planning makes a change, he's going to have to come back to us with the change plans and get those approved. Can he do that through an amended orders? But it's a pain in the neck because then, you know, we're doing this again. I, I haven't noticed any of the other groups like planning or zoning taking us into account when um, when we actually do something right. and it would be it would be very pertinent if planning was doing something that actually affects us but I can't see I hear they've actually met all the requirements we've had um, so I mean have um, they I, I mean, they continue the hearing well oh we needed to get we, you this information yeah for all this information no 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 uh, planning continued the hearing why did they continue the hearing because they got the review comments from the from the air consultant, and uh, I can read you some of but the. the but those but are separate issues, really. Right. They're well, not they re we re do they reflect on the stormwater drainage calcs? We don't have copies of them, so I don't know the answer to that. Copies well, we of do what? actually. The plan we have the planning the board with the stormwater calcs. We didn't have no, those. we have the the ones he originally submitted. I don't know whether there's been any changes with the consultant's change, has there? Not as of yet. Not as of yet, but right. there will there be. We're going to be at the cons of the typically on any review consultants review letter. They always have questions regarding the stormwater calculations. We're, we're confident that we're not going to be really doing any revisions to these stormwater basins. We were extremely conservative in the initial design of these, and some of the some of the comments that they've come back with are extremely technical in nature and we don't see any revisions to the system. So storm are you meeting system. the two foot and four foot separation where needed? Because that we, was your issue on the last one. No, on we the provide last you, one. we've provide you, provided you with the drawdown analysis mm -hmm. that we had to do the drawdown analysis if we did not have a four foot separation. That was provided in the notice of intent. And that did planning engineer review it and accept it yet? I'm not. I don't know. Okay. I, we do have his comments. I, I don't recall that being one of the 
issues that there was a problem so with the two foot separation. This is my issue because someone professional is reviewing the drop the drainage. But this is for planning. But right. stormwater matters to us. Oh yes, it does. And, and stormwater I mean, is part of our design. I, you know, this was and a whole education actually for, for me. For me, I, this yeah. has always happened on conservation in the past, and the problem is is that we almost we have someone being professionally paid to review the drainage caps. It makes more sense for them to do it than one of us to go through. But they're not looking at the issues that the conservation yes, commission would like. They're looking at well, zero, well, they're not. Ten, I don't think they ten, ten, I, I, I uh, ten on a hundred year storm. They're looking at the same thing. They're looking at the four feet of separation between groundwater and um, and um, the bottom of the detention basin. They're looking at the two foot separation that is required. Mm -hmm. They're looking at the sediment control and whether the suspended solids are being removed. The same mm -hmm. issues that we have on both sides because oh. the stormwater regs apply to us. They're looking at both sides. He, um, and uh, and stormwater is under our control as well as the planning board. And, 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 and I guess what I'm trying to say is that I've seen us do this over the years that we don't wait, we end up with these amended orders, we just keep getting them because every time somebody has well, a change, I think we change hours if we have to. I'd like to issue the notice of intent so that they can get on with their construction based on the um, planning board. I don't think we should. And I noticed that they did actually field in because there was an issue about what form you used for the um, uh, you know for the water calculations and I was studying the one form and you had it beautifully done in your um, book on your calculations um, but we also had just Nancy and I had an open meeting issue with this because we keep continuing this hearing all right. the time um, and you know to continue no, for another to, group. Seem to do lately just continue continue well continue. I had we can I'm just Sorry, I was going to say that I actually I'll asked for this I, one to I, be held up. Okay. I would just like to propose that this notice of intent be approved and let them get on with their work. If there's any changes, they're going to have to come back to us anyways. I think so. I think so. Um, actually, before you do that, Mr. Noonan, is yeah. there any comments outside for the hundreds of people that are here? Okay. <laughs> I'll bring it back um, and just ask. So Mr. Noonan has a motion. Is there a second to approve the notice of intent? Is there a second? Second. Bill. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. Okay. I'm opposed. All right. So. Five one. Yep. Yeah. So we'll go forward with that. Um, we've approved um, the notice of intent. So we'll have to do. Um, this is the notice of intent, right? Right. So we'll have to do the orders for that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, but yeah, but they're planning board that was scheduled and stuff there. Yeah, they told when you go. We got some. There. We're just having a traffic engineer look at some of the. They were concerned with some sight line issues and what have you. So, we're just waiting for, uh, to hear back from the traffic consultant. So we'll send all the information back to them in one package rather than stagger it out. Mm -hmm. So it won't be till next month until we get. And then and yeah, all right. And then we'll be right. waiting for the stuff to. Um, Kathy's been looking for it from that. Right. Well, we won't see it. You won't? Nope. I can send you a copy. I mean, that's not a problem. Well, whatever you can do to help us right. and make it easier for <laughs> trying to that would be make true. it easier for her to understand it. Right. Yeah. It'd well, be helpful I, for us. I did not spend the time reviewing all the calps because, well, because we were. I thought that I was going to wait for the planning board to do their review. It made more well, sense. Well, if he gets that information for you, will that help? I can't. There's nothing I can do about it once I get it. All right, so it's done. You guys approved it. That's right. Yeah. Although, just so you know, um, you can always re. Um, for instance, the muster fields were here, and one of our first moves in the in the commission was to bring them back. Mm -hmm. um, even though the conservation commission before us had actually allowed everything, we brought them back because of an issue to do with um, right. utility. So we can always reopen. But I, you know, this is a very well done project. Um, but if you can actually copy us on what you are filing with the um, planning board, That's right. that would be terrific. Yeah. Okay. Is that okay? All right. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you very you. much, Mr. Thank, Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. And so, finally, we um, get we my close? neighbor. Do, should we, Sorry, close? Do we, should we close the hearing? Yes, do we have a motion to close the hearing? Motion to close. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay.
So what I uh, would ask now is that um, I have to actually sit this one out okay. because, Mr. Rujo, I live on Wharton Street, which is just okay. perpendicular to you. So I'm going to sit this out and I'm going to pass the chair to <coughs> Cathy. Is that okay, Cathy? That's fine. And this is a request for determination of 70 Cleverly Street. Come on out. Do you want to um, just tell us about what you want to do? Um, we have your filing in front of us, but it'd be nice to hear it. Yep, it's um, a 12 by 10 shed. Um, it's a movable pro um, structure. Um, it's going to be about 26 feet from the back of my house, and I'll still have, I believe, 65 feet to the end of the property, to the back of the property, and another 50 to the right side of the property, and over 100 to the left. Um. So do you have, um, do you have to take anything, any vegetation down or is it just going to be on the grass? Just on the grass, yep. Okay. I, I visited. Yeah. And the 20 inch drainage easement is just, is it a swale or something? It's or? on the ground, uh, uh, just water. Okay. All right. And did you see any wetlands out there? No, there was wetlands way back, so. That's what I thought, yeah. yeah. So it doesn't involve, me. and I, I visited, he was, you know, like you said, just a Nothing involved. Anybody have any questions? Okay. Um, this is a um, request for determination. So, um, is there anything in particular, you guys, any conditions you want to add to this, or are you okay with it? So, does somebody want to make a motion for a negative determination? Make a motion. We have a negative determination. All in favor? Second. Oh, second. Thank you. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Yeah. Could you tell Dennis to come in? Sure. Thank you. All right. You're next. Come on up, guys. Dennis will be in in a minute. Oh, sorry. Would you like a copy? Nancy, I, I'll give it to Nancy. <laughs> We're just going to try to get some papers out of your way. Okay, so I think we're on Mr. Bowe. So this is, uh, thank you very much for coming, Mr. Oh, sure. so, um, and this is on um, DP 84-478, 275 Chestnut Street, um, and it's an update because you've been before us. We actually did an um, enforcement order to say stop everything. Um, we um, asked you to uh, do some reclamation or you know, remediation um, work on the um, area and you've we also signed off for you to do parking right so now you're coming today and you're telling us about this project and I understand there's a very big project and it's continuing on right so what's happening so um, first of all I need to record the order of conditions unfortunately I didn't do it yet I just got it from the master so okay. I want to record the order of conditions we're gonna meet Friday and I'd like to come up with a schedule of, of what we're gonna plan to do in the coming months to meet the order conditions. Okay, and this is a very exciting project that's going to end up with um, the visit of the uh, Buddha, right? A huge bit. And actually, I was talking to um, my little priest um, in the Catholic Church, and he knew all about it. Um, he said, oh, it's coming here to Abington? So it's obviously a big thing. But, um, but what should we be looking out for? I mean, what work are you doing at the moment? We're just going to do the, th the uh, 865 feet of uh, banking on the pond. Right. Are you and doing any construction? Lot. No, we're not going to do any construction. Are you Just doing move any the work at the moment? Move the stone. Okay. Are you? Do, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Are you doing it's any good. work at the moment? No. Okay. And you'll remove the brush that's. Yes. That's been put We're going to try and conform to the order conditions, and, Great. and like I said, we'll come up with a, a schedule for construction. Okay. And um, do you have a date when you might get us the schedule? Uh, we're going to meet Friday, so probably next week. Okay, that'd be great. Okay. Okay, and is this going to be, I mean, how is this going to work? Is this going to be, um, this, this actually, one, I have some questions. There's yeah. one thing, and this was one of the biggest things. As you're looking at the front of the house, <coughs> you're only supposed to be using the driveway to the right. Mm -hmm. That's blocked off. We're going to change that. We're going to okay. move the stones mm -hmm. okay. and open that driveway up and, and have another <coughs> parking area to the right side okay. of the house. Because it looks like it was being defiant yeah. where, you know, they put the stone right there after we come up with the other conditions. Right. So the reason that's what we don't is, want. The reason we get a call, the police department, at least three times, 
people come to uh, ride around to steal things. We just reported to the police department recently. So but somehow we will comply with your will remove it. But we let you to know the reason when block one drive we'll be able to control them. I think if you could move it to the other side, yeah, block, the other side. block the other side instead and use the driveway on the right hand side mm -hmm. would be great. Thank okay. You. That that would be great. But, uh, I would like to add you allow us to ride around. Please, that's the main purpose. We did say that when did we you? were there that day that you could make a 10 foot thing for yeah, riding I around. Yeah, I remember that. Yet, yet, it seems that we talk to you and then you do the opposite. I mean, as Michael like said, we were both astonished when we went by and we said, gee, we just sat here and talked about what to do. No, and they did exactly the different. Since the day you t uh, told us, you order everything, we stop do anything, we won't you touch I, anything. You, you didn't. You, you put the rocks there, you put the shrubs so, there since we, you've been here last. So uh, that already there. Guys, was there to when be, I to be honest with you. The rocks were there, they were already there. there. Everything there. They were there when we visited the site. No, they weren't. The no, they weren't. The edge of the no, pond. No, no, not the edge of the pond. I'm talking about where you blocked up the driveway. The driveway to the right of the house. What we oh, did. Oh, to the right of the house. Yeah. What we oh, did okay. is that's. I'm only talking about that area. Oh, okay. And, and you did, you did it. Like, like Michael said, he, both of us went by. Gee, we didn't talk about that. Right. I, I you, wasn't. You, you have to take all that stone and you put it on the other side. Yeah. You want to drive it go around this thing? It has to be ten foot wide, away from the, the pond mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. If you want to put the stone in, fine. I'll leave some there, fine. But. This is what we talked about. Okay. And everybody was there in agreement. And then we drive by, it's not even close to what we said. I wasn't aware that they did make changes. To be honest with you, since you order, we understand quite well, but we didn't, didn't touch anything. We wait for everything set up in order we uh, continue to follow your order. <coughs> Maybe something you misunderstand, we don't warranty you, we didn't touch anything. Well, everything yes, yes, there, already there. We're having a communication problem. Because <clears throat> we asked you, in the order of conditions, to, to use the right-hand driveway only. But you also asked us, and we let you around. go around the house yeah. 10 foot passageway as an exit. Yes. Just as an exit, mm -hmm. to yeah. make it easy yeah. to, to, for exit. Yeah. But you have blocked off the right-hand side of the drive, the house. You blocked that off of stone. I mean, you did. And, and this is what we asked you to do. And, and you did just the opposite. If you say so, I removed as after I left, I will comply instantly. But maybe something misunderstood. But we didn't touch anything. But we comply with you. We we warranty to do within this week. You, you didn't comply. No, sir. I to be honest. I wait for everything. I wait for any done paperwork. I keep waiting. But what we need, if you can move those yes. rocks, that will Sinton. be that will be the solution. I we will do. So that I would be do. the solution okay. to move yeah. the rocks. I will okay. do. No reason. Yes. Just and you understand as well. I understand what you're you saying, and I'll make sure. Well, I'm going to meet with them Friday, and we'll so go over this. So you can make sure that them Super. change everything. <coughs> that you, you'll well, that'd be on. great. And right now, I know this can, he's putting some floors in there and so forth, because I have to go by there every day. There's a flooring truck out in front. There's a flooring truck. You're putting in hardwood floors. Yeah. Yes. Because the uh, I and asked them to do for do the floor. Yeah, that's fine. But there's also a vehicle out in the back of the house where we did not want parking. Oh. Okay. You're on on the, the left hand side. side. You want it on the right. You want it on the right. Yes. Right. Here they have Where's access. They have an exit to go around just to make it easier for when people come. Mm -hmm. and, that, and that's what we asked. Okay. So okay. you allow it to park on the right side? Yeah. On the right side? Yes, we will do it. Thank okay. You. Yeah. And, and the reason is simply because the resource um, area beside it is actually a big lake. It's a mm -hmm. pond um, and wetlands. So it's right up there. So you right. actually don't have much room. Right. So that's why. Um, now, I just gave Cathy, you know, I was talking to Cathy about how we don't have to um, deal with other commissions or anything like that. But tell me, for these projects that you're going to do, um, for this further work, are you going before any other committees? And are you going before the planning or zoning or anything like that? Uh, like at that? this point, when I'm putting the team together, and the team is going to meet with the master to find out exactly what he wants to build, how he wants it situated. I have an architect coming. Uh, construction manager and a civil engineer to design the utilities. It, is our building inspector going to be involved in this? Oh, yes, sure. Because of permits, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Because it just seems to me that it is quite a big construction mm -hmm. that you're planning. It is. That's why we're putting yeah. a team together to okay. try and make it work. 
do you think we should have another date that we touch base with you? Do you if think, you think that's what, what you'd you like to do? We would like to see the progress that we've suggested. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and then we can talk about if it's going well, how we, you know, mm -hmm. and that's easy enough. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's fine. How far ahead do you think we should meet? When's the next meeting? Oh, when's the next week? Oh, it's just two weeks time. Well, you, mean, you have a month. But, I mean, you want to do a month? That's a month fine. is fine, sure. Just, you know, is that all you need? Okay. A month? And can we mm -hmm. let him know when we want the date to be? Because we haven't decided what date we're me day we're meeting on of the week. Oh, so can we just yes. write you in a letter? Sure. And tell That's you when. That's fine. Sure. That would be very good for okay. us. Because this isn't a hearing or anything. Yes. Um, Yes. It'll although, be in four weeks. Although let's okay. um, let's have a vote to continue to a specific date. Is that all right? No. Um, yeah, for our no. open meeting. Yeah. Because we don't know when. I, I understand that. We're going to actually talk a little bit later on to find out what day we're, we're able to meet because one of our members isn't able to meet mm -hmm. on, on Tuesdays. But you know what? For this hearing, I want to actually have a date so that we can change that date. I don't want to leave it open because it's for the open meeting law. We have to have, you're going to. This is not a hearing. Oh, it's not a hearing? It's no. Just, but We're it's just having a conversation. Okay. It's an informal update on the... On, on the enforcement on, on order, the, wasn't it? Or the notice of intent, whatever you want. Notice you know, of intent. So it's a continued hearing. So No, the notice of intent, we've issued the orders and conditions. And we're just following up to see if they do it. Yeah. Okay. So All it's right. more of an informal... Okay. I stand corrected. That sounds good. Okay, so we'll annoy you with um, a date. Okay. Yeah, okay. well, then that would probably be easier for us. Thank you. Sounds good. Okay, can I ask a quick question? Sure. Um, is there any anticipated capacity in terms of the parking? Well, the master would like to have uh, a building 80 by 100, mm -hmm. and they'd like to have 500 parishioners there. So, based on that, the parking would have to fall by the regs. Um, and I'm not sure we can do that yet. We're going to need a parking garage. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure we even have the, uh, the resources to do it. So uh, it's still in the planning stages, and that's why I put the team together. I want the architect to come in, and he's going to talk to the master and figure out what kind of building, what he needs for our, um, utilities, restrooms, mm -hmm. mechanical room, that kind of thing. And See, then that'll that drive. Too. That's why I mentioned that um, the zoning board and the planning I have to know what's going on here because this really is a huge construction mm -hmm. for us. It's very exciting, but it is a huge construction. Very um, difficult. It does have very s significant ramifications for us on the Conservation Commission because it's literally on a resource area. Mm -hmm. But you know, you have a whole lot of other hurdles to deal oh, with. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank mm -hmm. you very much. So we're going right, to come to you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So and three uh, weeks, right? You want to and uh, three weeks, uh, uh, I'm pardon for uh, something that you're concerned about the rock. We will move within this week. Okay. Yeah, we will do. No Thank reason. You. No reason. Yeah. Thank so you. I, so I, I beg your pardon. I'm, I'm messing message up. Two weeks. You want to you want to come back the next four, meeting? Four, four, four weeks. weeks. Four weeks. Four weeks. Okay. So we'll do okay. that. We'll make All sure right. it's like. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank, Thank you very much. Okay. So I managed to muddle through that, um, and just while. We're talking about night changes. Um, can we can we open that? Sure. You're running the meeting. You get to decide what we do next. Excellent. I like this. Yes. Um, you can discuss. I just have to. Sure. I'll be right back. Yeah, that's okay. It's not a problem. Nancy, um, before we go, is Monday a problem for you? No. Um, do you have selectman duty at any point on Mondays? Uh, I haven't. So okay. For a bit. Okay. Thanks. All right. We'll okay. figure it out. We can get maybe we can borrow Jody. So <laughs> that's a good point because of course Nancy is the most important person here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so it really does um, decide. So the whole issue is um, Joe's got a new job, which is fantastic, but he's not able to do Wednesdays. Um, Nancy isn't able to do Thursdays, I think. Um, Russ and I also have stuff uh, on Wednesdays, um, and you do too. Um, so there's Tuesdays, which have worked out okay. Oh, he's not able to do Tuesday, too. Sorry, Joe's not able to do Tuesday. Joe is able to do Wednesday, I beg your pardon, but we're not able to do Wednesdays. So we have Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Or Saturday or Sunday. Saturday, Sunday, yeah. Friday Sunday, night. Yeah. Friday night, yes. <laughs> I know some very much. Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, then. About well, seven. I, I, I don't <laughs> have a it. problem. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. have any problem with Monday. I don't know what it, if anybody else does. I don't. Just that we're going to be, you know, crowded. 
selectmen going, but that doesn't make a difference. I mean, we have our room, so. Yeah. yeah are the rooms available? Um, Nancy says, sometime, we'll ask when she goes back. Sometimes she don't, said, don't, don't, there don't they have the water department meet downstairs and yeah. somebody else? Yeah. Yeah. It is an issue. Yeah. Um, it but is I think issue, if we get we ourselves the onto rooms. the schedule, we'll schedule then, it, yeah. then they'll That's figure fine. it out. I have no problem with Monday. We Luckily enough, it. Nancy does the schedule for rooms. So. Just after the weekends, it's, I'm usually tired Monday night. Yeah, Monday night is my tired yeah, night, too, to be honest. Tough. And and maybe as if Joe's schedule changes, we can go back to Tuesdays at some point. So yeah. I'm okay with it. It would be nice to have all seven of us. It'd be nice yeah. to have the chair here. I know. <laughs> and, um, you know, we can always um, vote to have another meeting, an emergency meeting or some other kind of meeting later on the week if, if there is some issue one day as long as we have a quorum but um so maybe monday we think monday is going to be okay um why don't we um do you want to start earlier or seven o'clock fine um to be honest for me um just uh, personally not not as chair i think seven o'clock is is fine for me because okay. i have dinner at six and i i just often i just make it at six at home what about you guys? Seven, is seven, seven works fine for That's me. That's fine. Okay. No, I just make it a suggestion. Maybe it doesn't make any difference to me. Okay. okay. So. Um, Dennis, I, there's a couple of things in the correspondence we should probably talk about very briefly. Okay. All right. So, Nancy, we're going to do it on Friday nights at 5. Is that okay? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we decided Saturday mornings at 6. I know. I know. So Let me know how that goes. I know. I know. So I'll we, leave my recorder. Yes. So we talked about Monday at 7 p.m. Okay. okay. And the open space update, do we have anything on the open space update? No. no. Um, and just very quickly, um, building permits. I, uh, I visited two places, 639 Bush Street is a uh, screen, screen house, and 100 Summer Street is a uh, built a shed, and uh, where else did I go? Cleverly Street. Cleverly Street. Yeah, yeah we just heard shed. that. And then... Any issues uh, with no. anything you saw? No. Good. Okay. The only issue is there's no water there. So we will start the next meeting will be the 22nd. No, I think we have scheduled hearing on the 23rd. So we have to do that one. So we'll start in October. Yeah. Okay. So beginning in October. So that will, it'll be the 7th, correct? No. 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 Um, the 14th? It I mean the, uh, the 6th the 6th or the 13th. The 13th? Usually we're the second and fourth. So the thirteenth. And the thirteenth is a holiday, Columbus, Columbus Day. So do you want to go? Well. Skip a meeting and go the twenty seventh, or do you want to do the twentieth? Um, I think it depends on whether we get a filing in, Nancy. We can only go, you know, some things. I have only have twenty one days from receipt. That's why we meet every two weeks, mm -hmm. but we just don't know yet. <coughs> uh, do you want to do it the 20th then? Yeah. The 20th. Um, that will be a whole month without a meeting, right? It sounds good to me. <laughs> I'm clear an issue. <laughs> do you see anything coming up that's going to be, you haven't seen a lot of volume, have you, Nancy, in the other boards? No. no. Okay, so maybe we can. You know what we should do is um, Monday holidays. Have the. Yeah, there are. What's the first Monday? The sixth. Have to do it Tuesday. And everything is on. Oh, okay. So don't do that day. We don't know. No. And, and that's why. We why don't we do the twentieth? And if we end up with a problem, we'll do the, the Tuesday before. We can't. Oh. Oh, the Tuesday before. Yeah. Which would be the fourteenth. Yeah. If we end up with a problem with any okay. filing that comes in, does that make sense? You know, we are swapping out. Okay, so you're Why don't we just keep it consistent, Kathy, and just go the 14th and then the 27th? We could do that. And that way we meet every two weeks. We're just going to start Monday. It'll be the 27th. Why Let's don't we do, do that? that. And that way we'll that. have the two weeks. Right. Yeah. Even if it's a short uh, meeting on the 14th. It, okay. It's just because, like you mentioned, Kathy, we have such time limits, uh, unlike other boards. That's why we meet so yeah. regularly. Um, you know, when some poor guy files his notice of intent or request, 
we have to do it within a certain number of days. Okay. Okay. Well, so we're, yeah. we're doing the 13th instead of the 20th? Or the 14th. <laughs> the 14th, which is a Tuesday. Because yeah. Monday's right. the holiday. All right. Good. So, so right. October 20, 27th is the first Monday yes. meeting. Yes. Right. Okay, that's the first Monday meeting. And, and we really have to do the second and fourth if it's going to be Monday because of yeah. all those schedules. The other schedules. Yeah, let's okay. do that. Let's do that. Okay, okay. and so we're back on. Okay. Um, Dave. Okay. Um, and um, now I think we just have to look. Oh, uh, correspondence. You think yeah, I had a couple of things. Um, Linwood Street, um, we got an email from Nancy. Um, Victor. Simino came up this afternoon after talking with Marshall. Marshall, he's stopping activity and was given the paperwork to file a notice of intent. The earliest meeting would be 9:23 due to newspaper ad, et cetera. So he's going to file, Nancy? Yeah. Okay, so it's just, just for people to know. Um, we um, have a letter from Mr. Dombrowski that I think everybody had already that um, he had an issue um, with 1114 Dorsey Street. I did not have a chance to go out there. I've been on vacation. I didn't um, So um, could we put that on the agenda next for next week, for, um, next time to talk about it? 114 Dorsey Everybody, Street. I, I grew up with Dorsey Street. Is, the last, is it the last house on the left? No, this is with the picture. Around it? it might be. That's, he's, he's got a picture in there. Here, I'll let you take a look. No, no, that's all right. I, 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 I want to, uh, did you see that, read that, Michael? I, I, I read it, but I didn't. He was it. advertising on a web for a landscape to come yeah. in and do it. Yeah. Oh, this is, the, this is the guy on Abington, the Facebook on Abington. Yeah, uh, website. Or and he yeah. was he was saying that he, Mr. Healy. One day work, yeah. Is this Mr. Healy? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Would somebody help him? Yeah. Fill in some land, I and then he actually found somebody who would help him. They did? Yes. I didn't recognize the name. <laughs> Gail showed me. They, and he, he went back online to show everybody how he'd done, how he'd filled it in. Yeah. I think I think we might need um, to have his... Some guidance. Yeah, maybe. A word in the shell-like, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and um, the only other thing in here is um, we have a letter from the Reeves about um, the property at 1212 Bedford Street. I think you guys probably have copies of it. Yes. Just um, make note they still are concerned. May I ask? Yes. Oh. I was talking to a selectman and they are meeting with their town council. And I asked them, when you're meeting with town council, can you ask him about having them help us? Is anybody, uh, that all right if I go along with that and talk to Kenny about it? Yeah. Sure. Did anybody sure. have any problem with that? No, not at all. No. Oh, no. Um, so, sorry, what, what are you asking? He you? wants to talk to Vinny well, about. But the, the selectmen are meeting with town council on a bunch of stuff. Yeah. And I said to Kenny, I says, well, gee, we need help at the conservation for 1212. Mm -hmm. He said, well, I'll bring it up. I said, okay, so is that all right with you guys? Go ahead. Mrs. Reed has come in and she talked to Rick. I mean, town council is for the boards and committees. It's not for mm -hmm. basically individuals. No, no, it's for us. No, for us. Yeah. For guidance. For some guidance oh, on how yeah. to proceed. But we've done, yes. I thought we've done our stuff. I thought we've, we've given them, yeah. I, I didn't think there was any more issue. Well, as the such. issue that you sent out was the fact that the, um, the large sums of uh, soil were being removed and the reeds were saying something about uh, there should be like at least a 10 day period. Are they at period. It's a, there's a period of time that you're at risk mm -hmm. um, that they can appeal mm -hmm. some or anyone can mm -hmm. appeal. I didn't bring that up last time but you can appeal a yes, request for determination time. or a notice of intent. Mm -hmm. Any abutter, any group of 10 people can a appeal it. Mm -hmm. And um, there's a 10-day waiting period. Okay. Um, so Vinny is at risk for what he's done so far. But, um, you know, so somebody could make them, him go back out and redo whatever he's done. Okay. Um, and if they file an appeal, then he probably has to stop work. Was he made aware? Um, it's in the regs. Okay. So it's not anything, you know, there's, it's just there. Okay. Um, we usually try to remind people, but we don't always. Um, 
but it's just something that's there. It's always been there. Uh, we, we did our, um, although we um, gave them a negative determination, mm -hmm. we actually did do a whole list of things. If you remember, we are quite long, extensive. And in fact, a lot of the considerations that the poor reeds had um, we, we were actually written into the um, uh, requests um, to be followed. And, right? and I will note that the enforcement order still stands as well, so yeah. that he can't do anything besides what he specified in the request. And that was to remove the fill. Right. Remove the fill the and put a drain in. Drain in. Right. Yeah. That's right. And so, and we did uh, requirements, we, even within those two, um, we asked for certain things, um, and that was all put in his request for determination. Uh, it starts, the only thing that was up there was it starts on his commencement. You know, all the things he, he's required to do, he has to tell us when he commences, because we didn't have a date when he was commencing. But as far as I know, we're actually all set now. There's no, no more action that we have to do. He, you know, if they, right, I, I, think, I think we're all set for the he moment. Has, he think? did not give us notice that he commenced. So. Right, well. That's true. Um, but it, 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 the order just went out. Well, I don't know if he didn't. But, I mean, the order just went out. I don't think he's actually dug a hole for the pipe yet, right? No. So one of the requirements that we had, of course, was to have an engineer drawing about how deep and how long the pipe yeah, were. As the way it was left, that when he's going to proceed with anything else, a building or whatever, yeah. he'll have to go to the planning board and then he'll have to come back and see us. Yeah. Yeah, and he's That's definitely coming back to see right. us. I mean, he's, he's constructing that land for a, for a thing. Okay. Um, can you I see, I didn't go through everything in the correspondence. I just went through a couple of things because we're trying to get out of here. We'll do the rest next time. Um, those, you, those are certificates of compliance, right? All the forms that have to be signed. Okay. Do you have the signature sheets on top? That's, yes. Okay. So okay. I'm going to pass the signature sheets out for the certificates of compliance. There we are. And we're good. while you guys are doing that, we're going to do the orders. That's a determination of applicability. What was that on? Cleverly. Oh. Okay. Do you have a new form? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't hey, we just get a new form? She's going to give me a new form. Okay, sorry about that. If Nancy sorry has it. Sorry about that. Okay. It's just I live down the street from him, and I would be in a bar. And if I may, I'm going to pass these down, which are the... Um, Standard orders of condition. <coughs> that reminded me of radar on the old mash. Just oh. keep signing. Yes, yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You know, what do I sign? Just sign here and, you know, initial in triplicate. You can initial for your initial for a stamp for your initial. I'll just wait it out. Just wait it out. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. Okay. So the first um, order is for 899 Washington Street. Um, a single family dwelling and a garage site. Um, and um, can you remember what the issues were here? We had we have a number, um, number 84-48. It's just a lot of soil being brought onto the site. Yes, and we I should think be that, very that's the one with the shed. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, um, Did you get one, Mike? Did I have one? I have one, yes. Oh, okay. Yes. I'm Thank just you. looking at the standard orders of condition, um, erosion and sedimentation controls, which do the soil. Um, I think so all of those apply. A, um, so the work line would be, prior to commencement of any activity, a siltation fence barrier shall be, played, uh, shall be placed on a limit of work line 10 feet. Mm -hmm. Isn't that what we usually put? So A1 through A6. This is for... 899 Washington Street, oh. the place with the shed up at the top and the wetlands up on top of that for the border area. Drainage and runoff. I think B1 and B2. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, 
So, cathetine B1 and B2. And B7, because it's just erosion and sediment control, um, sediment control failures. Does everybody know what property we're looking at? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So B1 and B2 and B7, Kathy says. Anything else? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. I don't think C applies. That's the flood control. Mm -hmm. And D doesn't apply. Surface water and groundwater quality control. E doesn't apply. That's wetland replication plans. Mm -hmm. F doesn't apply, which is wildlife habitat protection. Mm -hmm. That wasn't mocked all. G is on-site conditions. So this is the normal things that you have that yeah. the contractor has to follow. Um, Two. G1. Two. Three. Four. How far away do we want to stockpile stuff? From the I don't think they're going to be stockpiling right. right there. No. I'm sorry. G1. G1. Two, three, Two, and four. And four. Isn't that the issue? And we're on G5, which is stockpile of um, excavation The wildland line was pretty far back. Mm -hmm. So, you know, normally we use 50. Do you think that's too much? You guys were out there. I'm, I'm, well, they, they can't uh, leave the, within the area of the... Uh, you just want it from away from the wetlands or resource area, just right. how far away yeah. it is from that. 25 feet. 25, yeah. Sounds, yeah. I think 25. 25, 25 feet. G6 um, and G7 should uh, apply. Okay. Oh, yeah. So G6, Kathy says, and G7. and G7. So the service and equipment and any kind of pollutants. All right, and then H, which is administrative conditions. Number two. It, uh, and that's simply that the order applies to every successor of this land. And four. And Shall five. be included all, in all construction contracts they do. And five. Um, at the end, they have to do a certificate of compliance. And then six. Two as-built plans have to be given in. H6. H7, definitely. H7 means that they don't expire, that it's continuing. Oh, and H8 and H9, because it's the sale. Mm -hmm. It has to, we have, they have to have the uh, statement that they understand there's an order of conditions when they sell it. And uh, the, uh, the conditions will apply in perpetuity. Okay. And then I, work schedule and sequence of events. So this is literally a list of the things that the um, uh, developed contractor has to do each step. I won. I won. I two, where it applies. Yeah. Okay, so really, you know, the replication plan and timetable of a wetlands engineer, that's not really an issue and at all. The road and drainage structures doesn't apply either, which is H. No. So everything but G and H. Yeah. And then are there any special conditions? So the only issue with this was the shed that people were looking at, but I can't. He was even talking about removing the shed, but um, it wasn't an issue. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. And then the second uh, order, perhaps the more contentious one, is O Adam Street, Zero Adam Street. Okay. Um, now, here, this is a big construction as such. Um, they've already uh, done, um, and for the road, and the wetlands are behind them all around, and they're between Route 18 and, what's that route that goes up? 58. Yeah, 58. So, um, erosion and sedimentation controls a one, um, a siltation fence barrier shall be, but we'll put 10 feet. That's um, what he has on the And that's plans. what he already has. It. He already has this really done. A1 through A6. Oh. I think all that applies. Um, B, which is um, Kathy's concern, really, drainage and runoff. So B1 is the storm. Year 1, 2, 10, and 100 year storms. And he did actually submit um, a table for that. The drainage and flow patterns shall not be altered. So we were talking about the intermittent stream there. So that's B2. Do you think anything else applies? I think all, the, all of it applies. I think so too. 
Is there catch basins? Mm -hmm. There are, there actually. Are. There are, right mm -hmm. around it. Okay, so B1 through B8. Okay, flood control. This doesn't apply. Because this is um, flood, flood areas is really what this is about. Yeah. Surface water and groundwater quality control, which is D. So, um, I'm trying to remember, because it's so long. There was an issue because there was supposed to be an aquifer underneath that site. That's correct. So certainly D4, which is no rock salt, and then let's go back up. Do we need water monitoring here? We have required it at some of our bigger projects, including Walmart. Right, which is much like that as on wetlands. Mm -hmm. Um, do they have a stormwater detention basin in the map? Yes. They do. They have a pretreatment and a stormwater detention basin. All right. Well, I mean, this is a very professional group. Um, so I think maybe um, D1, certainly, where they might have to monitor the water, do you think? Mm -hmm. What do you think, though? I mean, uh, I think D1. Does that it's and I think um, I think D two may be a little more intensive, um, but D one the problem with that is you're not telling them what you're sampling for or how often. I think you may want to add something here about do we want it semi annually? Do you want it quarterly? How often do you want them to monitor the water quality? Well, although you know I'm showing my ignorance here of water. Um, because really, is it an issue? I mean, um, they have the. We certainly, the, I think rock salt the, is an issue. In the problem is, is um, the phosphorus and the nitrogen, you know, messes up the surface water quality that it goes into a stream that goes to French's stream that goes onto the base that is above the aquifer. So that um, there's some of the. Um, I, I think that D2 is a little. Over the top. So for D, this. D, 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 D2, D2, just so you know, um, yeah. requires that before they work, they have weekly testing. I think it's more than necessary, personally. And that's, you know, I'm usually the conservative one here, but right. um, but I do think D1 is appropriate. I just think that we probably want to talk about, I would suggest, oh, semi annual um, water quality monitoring that they submit to us in okay. a report. And I think it's fairly inexpensive testing that they do. What do we think about that semi annual? Semi annual is fine. Yeah, that's all right. It's fair. Well, that one so I'm just putting that in special conditions too. So, so D1, D3, and D4. Yeah. And then wetland replication? There's none. No. No. Uh, wildlife habit. And the wetland ho replication, what about the road into it? They weren't, they weren't going over wetlands in the road. They weren't going over, no. They weren't going over roads. Okay. Um, wi wildlife habita habitat protection, not an issue. Mm -hmm. G um, on site conditions. Um, oh, so G, G. G1 through G7. And I would and say. Where so should it be stockpiled? Uh, at least 25 feet. I have a tendency to want them to do 50 because there's going to be a lot of material going in it. They're going to dig 150 yards. cubic yards up and then they're going to put it back into the ground. So they're just going to they're just going to be moving dirt all the time. That's not a good 150 yards is much. But they're, it's just going to... They're, they're going to bring in about 15,000? No, no. Yeah, they're going to bring in 15,000. Yeah. yeah so the, so the, like the 150 yards there... Well, they got to prep it. No, they're talking about they have to dig out for the foundation 150 yards, but then they're going to oh, yeah. use it to backfill. But they got to cl clear the whole lot. <clears throat> All that stuff. It's just, it's just going to be messy because it's a small site. I mean, there's all asphalt under there because that was the driver. Right. I don't think they took the asphalt out. They did the tree just grew. Right. As a senior member of the board, I used to go to the driver. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. So, do we think. I've seen you on a whole new life. <laughs> is 25 feet okay? Is 25 feet okay? I think so. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> So G1 through G7 and G5 is um, all debris shall be stockpiled um, 25 feet away from wetlands or resource area. Okay. 
Okay. Um, the H is administrative conditions. Um, H2, which is that it applies to successors. Um, H4, which is it should be in all construction contracts. Um, H5, a certificate of compliance. Mm -hmm. H6, two as built plans. Um, H7, yeah. it doesn't expire um, after the certificate of compliance. H8. And H9. Yeah. Okay. I suppose so, H8 and H9, okay. And then I, which is the work schedule and sequence of events. I1 and I2, and I2, the only thing I would exclude is G. Replication plan, because there's no replication. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, I, they're not going to be clearing trees, so F probably isn't applicable. We'll leave that in. I would and leave then, it in because there may be some trees well, that come trees down. Well, trees were taken down right near there. And then just on J, um, just I note um, if we want to emphasize that there should be a semi-annual testing of the water, mm -hmm. right? Um, semi-annual testing of the water. Referenced in... Um um, reference, um, Where is it? we're looking at uh, D1. D2. D2. D1. D1. Okay, and we're looking for, um, it'll be monitored for turbidity, phosphorus, and nitrogen. Mm -hmm. So the same wording as D2. Okay, does that make sense? Yes. But D2 calls for weekly in 30 days. We're just saying that it's semi-annual. Okay, so put D2 under J? Yeah, the wording. But we could probably, yeah, use the wording because it's special. Yeah. Okay, and that covers, I mean, I think that covers groundwater because, uh, Kathy, that was an issue. All right, um, do I have a motion to adjourn? Oh, can I just ask one question yeah. on the certificate, on can these standard order conditions? Yeah. Is there anything that we, for instance, on... Um, to make simplify H6 two as built plans, it, it seems like we always have H H6, as you say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I come from Dublin, so I can't say that stuff. Uh, it just, I don't know whether there's a way to. Because we go through the same ones, and for instance, two as built always has to be done, and so forth. We could talk about it our, um, maybe at another meeting, yeah, whether we fine. can have like well, a set that we always have. Yeah. As our standard set, so that, and yeah. then have those ones that we consider afterwards. Nancy doesn't want us to do that. Don't you remember the what it took? To, we had two I sets. Had, oh, okay. oh, yeah. At the beginning. Oh, it was that's awful. Okay. No, 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 that's no. fine. And she's I, I right. I and, and, it, and it, I had it to read like years I, to get it to okay. one. All right, that's yeah, fine. I'm sorry. But, I did the no, that's fine. No, I, I think I think it's good though the idea of culling it. You know, as as the um, commission, uh, the last commission, the commission before this, it used to be hysterical listening because you know I was brand new to all of this, and they'd say, well, I don't think they should have to register and file a reg with the registry of deeds, so we'll scrap that one, and we're not going to do this. And, and they were right. I mean, there was reasons for you know um, why they wouldn't do it and why they sure. would. But um, so they would go right into it, remember? And it was just hysterical trying to work out. I was trying to work out exactly what they were. But that, I mean, that might be an idea that we, you know, we've, we've used this, but we can move it. No, I'm just, it I, I, Or maybe we give Nancy it. a list of what we consider standard. Yeah, standard, you know, of the same the ones that yeah, are listed. Uh -huh. Like we don't take them out of order or anything. Yes. We leave them where they right. are. We just tell her. Standard was the word I'm looking for, just to uh, Cause make they, it simple. Because yeah. anytime you have a new house built, anything like that, you always have an as built and yes. stuff like that. Well, that be, but I, I do I do remember the two sets and it was really messy. But if okay. it was like just the one that was okay automatically, this gets yes. flat with these, it. But we we would go was through, that. through both lists. It was yeah. awful. And, no, yeah. no, no, no. I, 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 I mean, yeah. there there are two themes in this. One is just the ordinary land that's beside the wetlands, and the other is if somebody's building a house. Because certain certain paragraphs we apply for the lots right. for the building, so if you notice for that. With that, mm -hmm. do I have a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Okay, second. second. All those in favour? Aye. 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 Nancy, these are all extras that were I came with Russ and John. You may have them, but I'm going to give them to you.